Hi, Sagittarius. I'm Pam, and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for the new year of 2016, plus an additional card for January. Happy New Year! Can you believe we're here already, Sagittarius? I can't. I feel like this year flew by in a blink. I want to thank all you guys for uh, subscribing to my channel. You've been so great to me this year. I want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and liking my videos and all your kind comments. I appreciate that and scheduling all the readings you've been scheduling with me and also following me on Facebook. So hi to the Facebook friends and followers of the Lucky Mermaid out there. I really like interacting with you guys because I can really get condensed and uh, communicate with you more individually there. So I want to say hi to you guys. And uh, I hope that this reading will bring you a lot of help and insight, information, inspiration for this new year of 2016. In this reading, I'm using the Robin Wood tarot deck and I'm going to pull four cards one for each quarter of the year plus an additional card for just the month of January this is the exact same way I did it last year for 2015 but I am doing this exact same thing again using the Morgan Greer tarot deck, pulling one card for each quarter of the year, plus an additional card for January, expanded psychic tarot reading on uh, my Vimeo videos that you can access by clicking on the link below and it will take you to those videos for the expanded new year of 2016 plus January. Um, and you can also get that by going to my website, which is theluckymermaid.com and go to the videos page three and there the new year expanded psychic tarot reading and plus expanded January links will also be there. So hopefully that'll even give you more insight. Uh, it's been really interesting. I've done six signs already. And it's fascinating to me to see what cards are coming out in both of them. So you might want to check that out. I also want to say here that this reading will be for Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Ascendance, and Sagittarius Moon. To gain more insight and information, you might want to watch your rising sign and your moon sign if you're a Sagittarius Sun. Go check that out. Um, maybe you'll get more information for the new year that way as well. So now on to your reading, Sagittarius. The first card, you had three cards that fell out while I was shuffling. Um, and I shuffled for a while, so I used those three. Uh, actually, I'm wrong. All five fell out. They fell out at different junctures. <laughs> so there was no cutting your cards. Your cards wanted to fly out of the deck. The first card you got was the uh, is the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Now, the Knight of Swords to me is a card that symbolizes an air sign male. This would be somebody coming in uh, that would be a rising sign, moon sign, or sun sign in an air sign. So that would either be a Libra, an Aquarius, or a Gemini. I hear you thought you had it all sewn up, but not completely. So this is something you thought was a done deal or pretty much a certainty, and I'm getting you're finding it what it's not completely. I do feel some of you Sagittarians in the first quarter of the year are going to be working hard to hold your position on something, on your stronghold or your position. So I see you trying to figure things out, nail things down, work on things. It's not a negative, it's just diligence. I see you having perseverance and diligence on something you want to secure in the first quarter of 2016. You also might have a fly-by-night proposition that comes your way or some proposition that comes flying through. Um, you might want to I feel like your intention or your inkling, in, inclination, your inclination is going to be to want to take it 
but I'm not sure you should jump on it too quickly. Don't make any decisions till after Mercury in retrograde passes, which I believe it starts on January 5th. Uh, so you, you need to look up the dates on that. I wouldn't make any decisions about anything that comes your way, a proposition or proposal of some sort in that period of time. Wait till it passes because I feel like you're going to jump on something and it may be you could be disappointed after you make that decision. So if you've got time factor here, some leeway of time, I would use any leeway you have. Don't jump on a decision too quickly. I feel you showing somebody up. I know that doesn't sound very spiritual, but it's odd. I This is what I'm hearing. I feel somebody may come in to you, may come to you and try to hold your feet to the fire or hold you to task for something. However, I see you proud of your accomplishments and what you've achieved and standing some kind of ground against that. And you triumph. So it's not a negative. It is slightly because somebody's coming in here and maybe challenging you or calling you out for something that they're saying you did or said or whatever. But I see you victorious here. So it's nobody's getting over on you. Let's put it that way. Not definitely not in your first quarter. Some of you may be trying to reconcile with an old flame or a, like a relationship, reconcile with a relationship. Could be an old flame, could be a new flame. I don't know, but comes up like it could be an old flame. Um, but I don't know that that's going to go that well in that quarter or that situation. So we have to see what comes up next for your second quarter. You have a very good card, Sagittarius. You have the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is a major arcana card, and this would symbolize karmic wheels of fate turning in your favor, the planets in the heavens and the spirit guides around you working together, conspiring and working together as a team to bring you good fortune. If you're a Sagittarius that had had trouble making ends meet, I feel that you may very well be getting a new job in the second quarter of 2016 that will help you financially and if it's not a new job it could be a new position in a job that you already have but I feel for some of you it comes up first um, I'm hearing first like a new job September through December you're gonna have a lot of activity and a lot of things going on in 2016 now that's not the second quarter, but my guides want to say that to you for some reason with the Wheel of Fortune. So maybe the Wheel of Fortune, even though it fell out second, is really you're going to feel it strongly through September, October, November, and December. Is You're going to really feel it strongly then. You're going to make a lot of changes, uh, changes to your lifestyle, changes of getting out of any ruts that you're in also comes up. You could be reworking your patterns of thinking and patterns of behavior. And I feel that some of you may be starting to take classes and learning something in that second quarter. But you know what? It doesn't have to mean going to school for a degree or for a certification. It could be personal enrichment. You could be deciding you want to study metaphysical subjects, auras, chakras, uh, tarot cards, Reiki, anything like that. It could be those kind of interests that you're studying in the second quarter. Some of you are going to link together in a partnership with a female at work. For some of you, this turns out to be a great friend for you, a friendship. But for, for some of you, it is a romance. For some, it is romance. I feel the two of you are going to work together as a team to find out stuff at the place you're working, like 
to help each other out, you know, because sometimes work situations aren't always the easiest. Sometimes they are, but sometimes, you know, there's a lot of personalities in different places and a lot of conflicts can come up. And I feel like you, you guys work together, like with your keeping your ear to the grapevine because maybe you're worried about how are things going in this company? Are people getting fired? Are new bosses coming in? Like I see you doing it not to be like <laughs> snoops. It's to do it so that you guys have your finger on the pulse of what's happening in this place. It's, it seems necessary. It's for good purposes. It's not like I don't see you gathering intel to like sink a company. That's not what I'm picking up. I feel like it's to protect yourselves as friends or even if you're together as a, in a relationship. I see you doing it together. This is only going to apply to some of you Sagittarians, obviously, because it is rather specific there. So the next card you have here in the layout, Sagittarius, you have this card came up in this spot for some other sign, maybe more than one. And you're getting it here too, Sagittarius. You have the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is a card to me that symbolizes scattering your energy, scattered forces, scattered thinking. This can also mean um, choose wisely from the illusions uh, you're being presented with. I feel some of you Sagittarians in the third quarter are going to be thinking a lot about the past. Thinking a lot about the past and maybe what went wrong in different situations or what could have been rectified or changed. It's, it's, uh, it's not negative, but it's, you're doing a lot of thinking. Let's put it that way. Your third quarter of 2016 involves a lot of thought here uh, and going over things, going over details, uh, but also going over the past is a big part of why it's here. Some of you are learning a new trade or a new skill in the third quarter of 2016. I feel you're going to reap the benefits of this and go out into the world selling your services or your wares. So whatever you make or create uh, or whatever you are, you know, services you offer, it's coming up. You're going to do something with what you're focusing on and studying or learning or skill or trade you're learning in the third quarter. You make a business out of it. You're not doing this part of education I pick up is not just for fun. Not that you're not enjoying it. I feel you are. But whatever it is, you turn into something. You, you're going to make money off of this in the long run. A lot of your scheduling and plans of things you have ironed out or worked out uh, time-wise is getting rescheduled in 2016 in that third quarter. I see you, like, plans get revised. Not everything stays the way you thought it was going to in the in this third quarter. You, Some of you are going to be renting a condo or a town home somewhere. Now, maybe you're moving there. It could be for that. Or maybe you're going to have a business. You're going, maybe your office is actually going to be out of this townhouse or condo. But for some of you, you're going to live there. But that leasing something like that in the third quarter also comes up. So now for your fourth quarter, Sagittarius, you have the High Priestess. Now, the High Priestess is a card. This is another major arcana card. Um, you had the Wheel of Fortune. Now, here you have the High Priestess. To me, she symbolizes um, your highest spirit guide showing up. She can also symbolize things being kept hidden, hidden things, secretive things. You could be the one hiding it. Other people could be hiding something, but I read it as a spirit guide to you. There's a lot of success coming to you in the fourth quarter. I don't believe you're the only sign that got that too of success. I feel like the fourth quarter of the year is going to be success wise, your best quarter of the year. There's advancement for you of some kind. So maybe you're not a Sagittarian. I talked about earlier that is starting your own business. 
if you're not one of those Sagittarians, you get raised or get a promotion or something raises up for you with how you are working. So that comes up in this fourth quarter. And someone of prominence comes and delivers a message to you. I feel in your fourth quarter of this year of 2016, you're going to finally feel like the ball is rolling in your court. If you've been a Sagittarian that's felt like nothing's been going my way or uh, why is it that I'm, I'm constantly feeling like I'm struggling or I have hurdles to get over, I feel that this path gets cleared for you in this fourth quarter. This person that delivers this message to you is sharp-witted and quick, sharp-witted and quick-tongued, they said. So I feel like they must be funny and like personality. They, they have a lot of personality. I don't know much about cards and gambling, right? I mean, I know these cards, <laughs> but I'm sure Trump is good. And they're telling me that you're going to have the Trump card. You're going to have the Trump card, they said. You're, that's the way you're going to feel. Like you finally won something. You won something of importance here, Sagittarius. You're going to feel like it's a great time for you. And some of you are going to travel. There's travel around the fourth quarter for some of you. Some of you are going to make a proposal and a play for something big in the fourth quarter of the year. But it's you're doing it. You're proposing a plan, a project, an idea. You could actually be proposing to someone as a marriage proposal because they're saying a proposal. But what? So whatever this is, it's big. It's big. It's a big proposal of some sort, and you're making it in that fourth quarter. Particular, it's it, it comes up in particular in in December. That's the strongest concentrated point, like the first two weeks of December. You're gonna receive acknowledgement for some craft or skills that you brought to the table also in the fourth quarter. And I feel some of you are actually guiding someone out of some kind of stuck situation or that they're in. So you may have someone that you're gonna be dealing with that's financially in the hole or uh, you know, in going in bankruptcy or is in big debt or they're just even emotionally and spiritually and every way feeling like they're, you know, kind of stuck. I see you helping someone at that point. This could be through your words and guidance, friendship, camaraderie, uh, nurturing spirit. It could be any one of those. It could be financially. I, I'm not really seeing it overboard in that regard, but it, they could all be tied together. You could be doing several things to help this person. I see you. <laughs> Don't get mad at me, Sagittarius. It's not bad what I'm going to say. I hear you're going to feel relieved at the end of the new year that the new year is coming, but not because your 2016 is bad. It's because your 2016 at the end of it is is really positive so that you're like psyched for 2017 because you're on a roll and it's going to get better. So please listen to that statement again. It's not like you're going to be relieved. It's over for bad reasons. You're going to be on a roll. That's the point. Okay, one of the guides is backtracking here. They say some of you Sagittarians are going to be reaching some kind of milestone in February. Something of significance occurs for you in that month. Some of you, it's a promotion. Some of you, it's a divorce. Some of you, it's an anniversary of something. It's just there's something significant because it's going to be different for all of you. There's how many Sagittarians out there? I mean, really, and how many are going to view this video? I can't nail it down to what the milestone is, but some guy wanted to come back in here and bring that up. So I have to say that that showed up. So the card just for January, just for January, Sagittarius, um, you have the a very good card. Actually, if you look at your cards, your cards look awesome. You had Knight of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Cups, High Priestess, and now you have Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. 
To me, this is all good things coming to you in an emotional sense or something in particular that you wanted to have happen. Some wish or hope is happening. It could be that. I feel that you're getting a lot of things buckled down and under control in January. I see you working hard to keep joy in your life and, and uh, get working hard and diligence. I believe that came up in your first card of the, for the first quarter. But I'm picking up like you doing things to make yourself feel happy. Maybe it could be minor things. Maybe there are certain candles you like to burn that smell like coconut or some, you know, tropical flower smell or some soothing smell that you just like. You could be lighting candles a lot and burning different incense to make you feel uplifted or you uh, elevate your spirits. It could be anything taking, uh, you know, sea salt baths or lavender baths or something, anything. I see you going out of your way to make sure little things in your life make you happy. And you know what? That's actually very wise because it's so easy to get overwhelmed by negative things that can happen in life. And so if you can find pleasure in even something small, it's good because you want your energy to be raised you don't want to keep it in a low vibration because then that just sucks more low vibration stuff to you it just draws it to you so they're showing me that for january i do see prosperity blooming for some of you even in the month of january like something blooms so um maybe you get a bonus or a raise or if you're in real estate, maybe you sell a home and you make good commission off of it. Um, or you've got some sideline or business that's super successful. Uh, maybe you make gift baskets for people. And for the holidays, people are giving them out for New Year's with champagne and other things in it. Like New Year's baskets instead of Christmas baskets. I don't know. That came to my head. That's actually pretty good if somebody wants to do that i bet you you could get some customers that would like to have that because people go to parties on new year's eve what a nice gift to bring right i do feel many of you sagittarians are going to be feeling pretty cheerful in uh, january i don't feel you being depressed um and i you may be like why is she saying that i'm saying that because i read your comments <laughs> and i also know what cards have been coming up and uh, in the you know recent past, and sometimes Sagittarians readings are you know you've got like seesaw readings a lot to me, and I've seen some that have been I see you guys struggling out there, so that's why I say that. <laughs> you could be changing your attire or getting some clothing that's maybe. I don't know whether it's designer, more professional, more upscale in some way. And this could be to do with business or work related. Maybe you need to start wearing suits to work or maybe you do wear suits to work on a regular basis. I, because to me, it looks like polished, professional, maybe more expensive. I don't know. Attire comes up also in January. And this seems to be for a reason. Like, I feel like you need to have it for things that are going on in your life. It's not just for no reason. There's a reason you're doing it, purchasing it. I see for many of you, your family life bringing you a lot of joy in January. I do see some of you Sagittarians feeling like, I want to get back to basics. I want to simplify my life get rid of a lot of clutter i'm seeing you put lots of stuff on the curb and also taking stuff you know maybe to goodwill or veterans uh you know purple heart whoever comes around where you are um because i see you getting rid of a lot of stuff and going you know what out with the old and in with the new and anything you get is more simplified streamlined basic not basic in a boring way just Less is more for you in January. That's what I see. So I hope this reading helped you. I certainly hope it made sense. I want to thank you so much. You guys have given me a great year of 2015. 
I, I appreciate it so much. I appreciate all your comments. I, I truly do. Um, I want to remind you guys, if you would like to get a continuation where I did the exact same thing uh, with the Morgan Greer Tarot deck, I'm going to pull one card for each of the four quarters of 2016, plus an additional card for January, uh, same way. Uh, of an expanded reading, please click on the description box below and it will take you to those videos where you can download and purchase those or you can go to my website videos tab page three uh, on videos page three it will be there the links to get these expanded new year readings because it may it may help you it may give you more insight and information I wanted to do a whole nother reading uh, so hopefully uh, you guys can check that out. And I want to thank you so much for that because this is my livelihood. I was a pastry chef for 22, 24 years, as many of you know, and um, I've been doing the psychic work for 14 years and one and a half years here on YouTube. But for 14 years, it's been my profession. So I do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much for purchasing those videos and all your kind comments about them. I want to say, Sagittarius, I wish you all the abundance of great things to come to you in 2016. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace. Mm -hmm.